Theorems probably have been given the probability mass function f of x is equal to 8 over 7 times 1 half raised to the x power. Now we want to first verify that this is a probability mass function. Now in order to verify it's a probability mass function, we need to show that the sum of the f of x values is equal to 1. That just means plug in all of those x values, so it's 8 sevenths times 1 half to the first, plus 8 sevenths times 1 half squared, plus 8 sevenths times 1 half to the third, which is 4 sevenths plus 2 sevenths plus 1 seventh which is 1. And so we have verified that this is a probability mass function. Now let's find some probabilities here. On A, we want to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. Now the probability x is less than or equal to 1 is equal to the sum of all of the values where x is smaller than or equal to 1. Where there's only one of those, that is only when x is 1, And the probability when x is 1, just plug in 1 for our f of x. And so this is 8 sevenths times 1 half to the first, which is 4 sevenths. On b, we want the probability that x is greater than 1. Now using our complement rule, this is 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 1. And as we found on a, this means this is 1 minus 4 sevenths. And so that's 3 sevenths. On C, we want the probability of x being between 2 and 6. And so we look for all of the x values that are between 2 and 6. And the only one is 3, and so this is just equal to the probability that x is 3. And so we plug in 3 for x. And that gives us 1 seventh. And then lastly on D, we want the probability of x being less than or equal to 1, or x being greater than 1. Now think about this for a second. x, no matter what function we're dealing with, x is always smaller than 1 or greater than 1. It has to be one of those two things. So that means this actually encompasses everything, which means the probability of this happening is 1.